Genesis chapter 2 verse number 24 and uh, uh, if you, you get it you read for me but I know that uh, the key word here is to cling the key word here is to cling and uh, and clinging is to hold on tightly the word to cling is to hold on tightly nikushikilia bila kuachilia you hold on but this is not just holding on it's holding on tightly tightly and that is why the bible says um, you you start it just use mine Therefore, a man shall leave his father and mother mm. and be joined. This is New King James Version. Be joined to his wife, mm. and they shall become one flesh. Yes. The other version said, the NIV says, yes. clean. Yes. This one says, joined. joined. And, and then it says, joined. So when you are joined, it means you come, you become like a glue. You become one person. And so, um, uh, and then I'm surprised the Bible says, a man shall live. You know, it's not a woman. It's a man. It's, it's only that we, we say that, oh, this is, it is me who lives my mother and my father. Because for me, to my father and my mother, I am their son. I'm supposed to be their son forever. So, God knew it. So he said, no, you will leave your mother, you will leave your father, me as a man, and then I will cling to Caroline. I will hold tight to Caroline. Cling means I will hold tight to her. You know, I will, it, it means you refuse to stop holding. You refuse. You know, if, if there is anything that wants to stop you from holding, you refuse it. You, you hold tight. You refuse and you say, no, I'm holding to her or to him. And so that word simply means when we come together, we will stay together because we become like a glue to each other. And I'm so blessed that uh, this, today we wrote a, a love letter to each other. It should be a, a serious love letter because if we have, uh, you know, we have people here by, they have, uh, they are doctors, they are counselors, you know, they are, they are in various, you know, uh, places. And you, you realize, Kwamba, now as we talk today, uh, marriage is becoming difficult. But it's becoming difficult. As a pastor, I do counseling. Even uh, the last two days, the last three days, three days, two, four days, yeah, the, you know, because of separation between a husband and a wife, the wife, you know, just took poison and he gave his children, two of his children, poison. You know, just to kill me, her, and the children. You know, unfortunately, when Perego were referral, and uh, by God's grace, they survived. Just this week. So, then you look back, and you realize that uh, marriage is becoming something that we should work out every day. We should work out our marriage, like my brother said, we can continue writing these love letters to keep this marriage to be tight. So clinging means you hold on tightly, you refuse to stop holding, and then you make sure that you hold on to that uh, 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 spouse or couple or uh, your friend or your wife. Uh, so three stages that I'm going to be speaking about and uh, you know, we're done here. Number one, there is a stage that we call romantic stage. Romantic stage, or rather, that romantic stage is the stage where there is a lot of romance in your life. Now, um, 
When I talk about romantic stage, I'm talking about that stage that uh, when I was courting my wife, I was so romantic to her. I'm talking about that stage. When I was I was so romantic. Hey, I was so romantic. Na ninasema maneno. Sasa hivi niambia niseme hiyo maneno zimesema. Ni mzito mzito. <laughs> maneno nilikuwa nasema hapo. Mtu utashaka. Si unakumbuka? <laughs> Naweka maneno yenye nikisema niambiwe saa hii inakuwa ngumu. That time romantic stage is when you know you love one another. Na fikiria hiyo ndio clinging yenyewe. And it's like you, you don't, you are not like. Hata ni mukumbuke vile mukwa mna biyana. Yani vile mina kumbuka yangu ni mukumbuke yangu. Yani it is romantic. Yani ni mambo. Mina 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 suspect kwa sababu you you reverend you reverend vile mina moana ngari kwa. I do my romantic words for you without any help. So, those are that is a stage when 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 this wallet. That is a stage when this wallet. Ina wacho komeza. Hakuna mambo mengi. That is a stage wakati unauliza ni 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 pati ya kukitu na mabia toa ponda ni. Sai mabia kuse kumeti wana kwa mwa. Akuse anani ni ni ba na ni yangu si ya kukusa nda ni. This is my 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 property. Like ni wakati wa romantic state. Ki wallet ina guswa tu. Hata ukipata kama imepunguka ndani miya tano, uulizi. Kuna peana ingini. Ah, sambi, kuna peana ingini. Uulizi, sambi. Uulizi, kuna peana ingini, unasamba chukua, ungeza hii. Ungeza hii. Ama unaona ni kama miya tano hai kuchukuliwa, tu imechukuliwa kwa miya tano. Kusama ni kuwa ndaka nikupe miya tano ingini. Romantic stage. Romantic stage, that is when you, you, you take, you take your wife out. You know, katu na mchukua, you tell her twende. Ulisa wapi? Wacha nda kuambia sa ile tumifika u. Na mpeka outing. Sa hii ongea kuhuzu outing. Oh, unajua mambo ya boto mambo. Oh, unajua hini sikini kikani. Wea unajua uchumi ya ilusu hibi. Tutasomesha watoto, ama tutaenda out. Mambo tu mumearibu kwa wakati huu. Kini wakati huu, kukuwa na suwari. Kukuwa na suwari. Kwanza wea unauliza tutaenda sangapi. Tutaenda sangapi. Because you, 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 are, you, you are in that stage where you, romance and love is so hot. Amen. 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 And then, you, you know, that romantic stage is when, is when you have very good words. And you can imagine where did those words go. Where is that? Where is that? Where is that? Una maneno mazuri mazuri. Una maneno mazuri mazuri, you just speak good words. Hauna mambo mengi, you know, you know. Hata wakati huo, yani kuulizu wa bitu singumu sana. Singumu, kuulizu wa bitu sahi. Mina kuambia kuulizu wa bitu sahi ni ngumu. Ni ngumu. Wakati wa romance, hata kuomba msama, unezomba maratana. Hiyo tu ndio ulikuwa unasema ni same hakuna shida. Nisame. Lakini saa hizi mambo ya msamaha. Mambo ya msamaha. Yeye mimi nawajua vile mnaniangalia mambo ya msamaha. Hiyo sio vitu ya kuambiana. You cannot. You cannot. You want to forgive who? Why? I should I forgive you by the way. So any everybody anaona ya kwamba yeye yuko right. So this one you know, it's a stage where uh, it, it, it typically it occurs uh, prior to marriage, when you, you've just married, and within the first, like, I mean, several years after couples, you know, have been married, you know, or, or they have tied the knot. And then uh, it is a character, you know, uh, eyes by passion and strong feelings of romance, you know. It is something that is passionate and it has that strong feeling of romance. Yo wakatu wa romantic. Wakatu wa. 
watu wakati mzuri sana wakati wenye ndugu alali na longi wakati mzuri kabisa kuna kulala na longi hiyo vitu hapana sasa hiyo ndugu wengi mtu anaweza lala na suti suti na suti na usimuulize swali ilikuwa tu ni suti ya Mungu lazima tuje duniani kule mtaruni kule lakini sasa hiyo nalala na hii hii ndio mmenua kwa duka hii wakati wa romance wakati mgumu ndugu ndugu kisa mwanzo kisa mwanzo kuliendaje kuliendaje mwana muulize mtu yule ambaye mtu kuliendaje what happened ni nini ilifanyika hata wazee wengine wazee wengine siku hizi ni wabaya wanaala mpaka na viatu hako ni mna gani anakumbushwa toa viatu mzee toa viatu ndugu nasema i'm tired nitoka kazini you know those are you know that early early stages of marriage that passion that romance amen, amen. that friendship i you know sometimes nilikuwa naandamananga na huyu mke wangu kuandamana mpaka ndugu mmoja akaniita akaniambia wewe mke amekukalia ama nini mali penye mko tu muna andamana muna sunguka muna sunguka tu na mke wako kila wakati muna sunguka kila wakati hii nikamwambia tunapendana sasa after many years many years anambia at least siku hizi na kuona ukiwa peke yako <laughs> Sikuizi na kuona kwa wake. Hata sikuizi naonekana ume style up mke ya kukali. So ku style up ni vitu vimeingia ndani. Na vitu vimekuja hapo katikati. Ngumu sana. Ngumu sana. Na tulikuwa tunaandamana na wewe mke wangu bila unamuona hivi. Tunaandamana. Na sindikishana mpaka kunua kiberiti. You know things change in this life because that is a stage I I believe with all my heart if we can still go to that very first stage our marriage will work out very good because that is the stage when we were, we, we just loved each other hakuna conditions tumependana tu hivi tumependana lakini kuna kuna mahali ingine tunafika tunaulizana na mke wangu. Hai. Mimi namwambia hata mimi sikujua kabisa. Mimi sikujua kama unakuanga hivi. After 23 years sasa sikujua kama unakuanga hivi. Mimi sikujua kama unakuanga hivi. Na siku nyingine tena mke wangu naye ananiambia, "Na ukumbuka wewe ni bishop." Ukumbuka unajua akikumbusha kama wewe ni bishop. Ngombe umefanya nini sasa hizo ni wewe. Kama ni bishop kama ukikumbusha wewe ni bishop unafikiria umefanya nini kuna vitu umefanya yenye unakumbushwa kwanza wewe si husband unakumbushwa kwanza wewe ni bishop ndio ukumbushwa kama wewe ni husband sikwa ni ukumbuke wewe ni bishop alafu kuna kitu kingine pia mke wangu amezoea kusema nako tu hapo amezoea kusema na zingine tukienda sana ananiambia eh acha nikwambie mbingu iko mbali <laughs> hadi mbingu iko mbali yani unamaanisha mimi sijaokoka hapa wewe unamaanisha mimi sijaokoka hasa wajua wazee wazee wenye mko hapa na wandugu sisi ni wavumilivu sisi ni wavumilivu amen sisi ni wavumilivu unaona hata kwa hizi nyumba wakati wa romantic stage hapo kuombani sana naambia tuachane na hiyo maneno sijui hata tunaovizana nini hmm. tuachane hmm. twende tunue nyama tukakarange tukule lakini sasa hii unajua wa ndugu ni wapole wa ndugu wengi ni wapole na wale wa ndugu si wapole mkuu wa wapole ndugu ni wapole lakini wa mama wa 
mama wa malizi maneno kwa mdomo si nyinyi wa mama tu mwinji hata mkianza kuwaju about something mutamaliza unajua ndugu anasemanga ai mama mtoto wangu anaitwa Feva mama Feva kisi tumeaju sana siwaache hapo eh niwaache hapo ndio mimi naanza hata kwa nje niwaache hapo Unasema ni wache na ndio mimi naanza. <laughs> unaanza ama tunamaliza? <laughs> na ndugu simuko hapa na mimi. Yaani hata ukienda kwa bed, uhepe. Uende uingie kwa bed. Mama anakaa kaa kidogo na kukuta huko na kwambia tu kwa tumemaliza kwa maneno. Unajifanya hapo unalala na kufungua blanketi kwa hapo. Unamuliza kweli ni nini kweli? <laughs> Tunipeko tu amani. Hii ni wakati huu. Lakini wakati ule wa romantic maswali kama hizo hazipo kwa. So sometimes you have to be strong in marriage to a next stage ya kwamba you know this is a commitment it is something that I said I would work out because marriage is about working out that marriage to make sure it works it is a job it is a work. You cannot say that this marriage. Amen. I don't know some girl who at a mummel at a pia muke at a way of Munorizana. Packet to Munoriza to Norizana name. Najana to the bigger two picture self. He took a post to her Facebook. That to Norizana name. Now to come here, this is my only one. I can't be the Muripiga for selfie. You're still with a muko. Hiyo ni mambo ya selfie na mambo ya picha tu. So picha inaongea lakini iongee hadi mambo yote. So sometimes it becomes so difficult. So when you are in this stage, this is a stage where uh, things are, are like these things are not working. You know these things are hard, they are difficult. I mean, uh, but but we love each other. We have romance. We have that love. We can make it. You know, we can push and we can make it. Having married for 23 years, I think I'm loving my wife more, more and more. Because I'm realizing, umuke wangu, hasata na mpenda sana kushinda mama yangu. So mama yangu anasumbua sana. Niki mutumia elfu, anafikiria niko na elfu tatu. Hasana, anaitisha ingine, lakini sasa muke, anaelewa. Mahali penye tumefika na mahali penye tuka. Then we have come from a long way. We have suffered. We, have, we know what poverty is all about. We know how to maintain ourselves. We know how uh, uh, to, I mean, we know how to content, I mean, to be contented with what we have. And so, ile romance, ina fika stage ingine, nga wajili kuwa distracted ina kuangu. So stage number two is, is a, stage number two is, dissolutionment or destruction you know dissolutionment is when when you when you thought is 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 when you thought about somebody or you expect something and then you realize let me say this you realize there is some dissolutionment that comes in because you wanted to this is what you expected but that is not what it is let me ask you a question. Wangapi umefika mahali ukasema sio hivi ndio vile nilikuwa natarajia huyu mke wangu ama mume wangu? To be honest. To be honest. Mbona ndugu amekunywa maji amefikiria? Yaani to be honest. Unafika mahali unajiuliza this is not what I expected. Am I talking to us? This is not who I expected to marry. This is not who I expected you to be. Simbaya, it is a stage. It is a stage. That stage, there is work. We have children. We have finances. We have chores to run. We have things to do. We have families to take care of. You know, a man, a man and a woman, you will take care, like a man, a man, you know, a man, you take care of your wife. And you also, if your parents are they also want you to take care of them. So you have these things that bring destruction in that uh, marriage. And then this stage is dissolution. You are like 
uh, uh, there are a lot of distractions that have come in. Uh, these things happen when now you are living happy, you are loving one another, but then work will come in. This is the stage where you need to work very hard to make uh, your marriage to be stronger. Now there is some, you know, some. There is school, there is work. You know, like your wife will say, I want to go back to school. Eh? You know, now now I know, now I dad. Kama kuna kitu kibaya sana, ama kigumu, ni mume ama muke aseme anarudi shule. Narudi shule. Na unajua lazima murusu warudi wapi? Shule. Anaenda shule. Anaenda shule, anakuwacha. Anaenda narobi. Umebaki ya Loret. Peke yako. Kama ni bidi, ufanye bidi kuenda narobi, we can't. Kuona muke. Ama, akuja we can't kukuona. Na kama anasoma mfurulizo, hawezi. So those things bring in dissolution. They bring in uh, destruction and then finances and then children and then uh, we have other activities that come in uh, and then there are things that make it, you know, that love must be shared. You know, when you have children now, you share the love, you know, even to the children. Lazingine unakatu na mtoto wako, na beba beba, Lord, kuna beba bebanga ndugu. Sasa, ni mtoto yu unatingiza, tingiza, yu tindugu wa tingizwi. Ndugu anakatu wa mechiumia. Sema sasa, kumbe upendo iliendea mtoto. Mtoto. Simba, ni upendo iliendea mtoto, kwa sawa mtoto wakipatikana. So, yu upendo yu nilikuwa na pendo wa yote. Imagine mtoto mmoja hame pendo. And then, wamezaliwa watatu. Watatu. Especially kama unatoka uku western, uzae sita. Rasa upendo imeenda kabisa. Hakuna mungu watoto, what attention imeenda kwa watoto. Then you discover this stage needs a lot of patience. Mutu anasaidia kusema amen. A lot of patience. Because you have to be patient to turn around this person, to turn around this husband. Kuna hata wandugu wengine wakipata watoto tu mtoto ndi anaingianga anaingia kwa nyumba kama amesema eh ako happy friend aulizi muke hata kwanza ana haja na muke anaulisa friend anaingia kama amebeba mtoto juu anatupa tupa mtoto haku samani alikuwa anakujanga anakuhaka anakuhaka anakuambia I love you kazi imekuwa mzito saa hii ni watoto anainua juu Watoto, watoto ndi anainua juu, sasa utafanyaji. Jubu anainua watoto, wote watatu juu na wapeba na mnaji. Kwa muna baki peke hako kama umehanga. Na ulisana nubu, sikuizi ni watoto tu. Na, wezi muuliza maswari kwa sababu, kuna distraction ili ingia katika, katika, ya watoto. Hata unasikia za zingina na kuambia weekend, ni napereka watoto wangu out. Unamambia na mimi, anakuambia haa. Kwa hivyo nakatu nyumbani, ni watoto naenda na hawatu. And then anenda na watoto bila kujari. Naenda na chesa na watoto, tana na kirudi juni na kuambia weheda. Very wonderful time. Kwa hivyo mebaki tu nyumbani. Dada, unakumiria tu, you need a lot of patience. Kwa hivyo kuna distraction imeingia ndani, unashanga kama amewacha upendo, unashanga kama is no longer loving you, is no longer together with you, but then this is model marriage that you can work out and you can work hard to make it happen. Amen. 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 You know, these things are there. These things are there. To an extent, sometimes at a romance inapungua. Inapungua. You know, nyimu na jua inapungua. Inapungua ngumu kwa sababu Hata hile, hile tu hile, hile mambo, tendo la ngono na mambo mengine. And we have to be realistic about that. Inarudi chini. Inarudi chini. Na ndugu kama uko wapa, ukiona mdada mwingine, hata kama ni murembu kushinda mke wako, don't comment. Usema ito, eh, hey, mdada, anakuanga murembo sana. Umearibu. Mutaanza ugombi ya potu. Hata kama umaona ni murembo nyamasa tu kwa sababu. Kwa sababu ukisema umearibu kila kitu. 
you just keep prayer hiyo <coughs> pia ni ni ni, ni, ni hali ya kujikinga si ni kweli jamani eh hey, ni hali ya kujikinga hata mke wako akikwambia eh hey, huyu dada amevaa vizuri wewe usiseme na kweli wewe unajisikia hata unajifanya ukusikia hiyo maneno ukusikia kabisa usijikue hapo mjinga unaanza na kweli amevaa vizuri mimi nashindwa kuna baraka na mna gani hapo umeanzisha vitu yenye huko una wewe unavumilia tu amevaa vizuri unasema thank you na unaenda kwa shughuli zingine because it is your marriage it is your marriage Yesu asifiwe. Si wa mari na wewe dada, una ndugu amekaa vizuri, ba vizuri. Yes. Don't comment. Sema mimi natakanga my husband natakanga uvae kama. Kama ni chapa safi. This guy looks smart. Sharp. Na unajua kuna wazee wengine wajui kuva. Mtu amevaa koti na vile ni miti imewekwa ndani. Koti kubwa kabisa na mna hii. Hapo na maneno mtu amevaa smart na. Sikia unajua dada ni fashion. Unasema inatakana sasa hivi vae vae nini? Vae fitting kama 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 uh, pastor Simeon. Fitting. Sasa Simeon anakuanga na suti zingine. Ni comment tu. Lakini mtu wako hawezi ku comment hadi comment. <laughs> yes. Yes. So there are things you must be very careful even about commenting because they can bring destruction. Unajua ndoa ni kitu ya kukinga kinga. Ni kitu you know you 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 married somebody from some parents and and some of you have married from other tribes. This is not your relative ujue hivyo this is not <laughs> relative huyu si mtu wa ukowe hii ni mtu mwingine ametoka mahali pengine na ametoka mahali pengine paka ndio mtengeneze mkuu mambo ya ukoo you work you work unafanyia kazi mtu si wa ukowe imagine mjalo amewana na mkalenje <laughs> maswali yenye iko hapo hata wakalenjini wanaulisa tukuulise huyu mtu tunaweza kupeleka msijuni kuna <laughs> ni mtu ametoka tu mahali pengine. Sasa ni wewe kazi yako kufanya nini? Kazi ya ku make sure that marriage works. You will you have not married your relative wati atakuja tu na unamwambia fanya hivi wewe ndugu yangu, wewe dada yangu. Mhm. -mm. Huyu ni mtu tofauti. Anataka azoe, ashike vile unakaa. Sisi wote tulioana hata tukua tunajuana. Ile kitu ambaye kinahitaji kufanya ni stage 1 romance, stage 2 ni kujuana. Si mtu aseme amen. amen. Kujuana tu. Kujuana. Hapo hmm. awali mke wangu alikuwa ananigusa kila usiku. Unamorota sana. Wewe punguzanga kumorota. Na alinipata nikimorota. Sasa unajua hiyo ni shida. Lakini paka saa hizi nimeenda nimeenda nikingorota kidogo nakumbuka mke wangu atanigusa na amuka na ipunguza na yeye pia kuna vitu wanafanya usiku lakini unajua mama hataki kuambia tunafanya nini sisi tu wa ndugu ndio tunaambia kwa mama ni ngumu kuambia ukimwambia mnaanza ubongo ili ndugu ukiambia una mesa tu serious Serious. Mke wako imagine usiku. <laughs> Nataka nimuulize na unakulanga nini lakini hapana. Hawachana nayo. Hawachana nayo. Hata wewe huyo mzee anakulanga usiku. Huyo mama anakula usiku. Wengine unafikiria ni kisi yake iko kwa nyumba. Hata shida. Mtu anamorota mpaka unashangaa huyu mtu ni oxygen amepewa bana. <laughs> na tangu muishi tangu muishi 20 years zimezoea hata kumorota si imeshaisha unasikia lakini ushatoea si atuziki unashatoea akianza hivi unasema ameanza basi kumorota ni wewe mikono msana sana kuna uzito yani unakaa Unajua 
marriage is very interesting. Long time ago, I see long time ago, son, at a maranying, at a kenda mission, to Nendanga Wandu. Na unajua uki, ukikula alafu waribu yewa. Unajusikia nukua na kuambia ndugu wana. Ni nini mbaya? Nukula too much ya manini. Lakini mkio wako, umulisi maswari unanyamasa. Hakuna maswari. Hata afanye nini. Hata apumwe na nguvu wako unanyamasa tu. Na we pia pia unanyamasa. Kwa sabu mezoyana. Hakuna mtu ya kufigia mungine kere. This in what we may think and do, but we may go to more. Those are simple things that bring this marriage in a question. Yes, was a few. And so in that stage three, we talk about Gwamba. Some stage two, we talk about Gwamba. Sometimes we have to be in the Missouri. Mambo in Arabic, apa na pale. You know, hari sio sawa. We talk about kuna destruction ya jami. Unakuta ya kwamba kuna kutuwa kuelewa sasa mwenye nilioa uyu, hata sasa si muelewi. Unajua kwanza kama uelewi mtu mwenye ulio, hiyo ndiyo stage mzuri sana, ndiyo unanza kumuelewa. Watu tangu wa wawane, hakuna mtu waneza danganya apati, oh, mini expert, and now I know what marriage is all about, I am an expert. Hata counselors wenye wana counsel watu, wata ni kwambi, they finish counseling you. Na kwa hatu ya nenda kufanyiwa kanzole. Muka ya na mfanyiwa kanzole kwa hatu ya subuhi mbaka chiyoni. Na hame marisa na kanzole kina wae. Kwa hatu unasema kweli wafu kanzole. Hame fika nyumbani. Anangwa jeo. Na ujewae kuwa kanzole kwa nyumbani. Ujewe kweli kanzole niyo siwa mchezo. Ukwe kanzole. Baka uulizwa maswari. Yenye uku 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 uliza mwenye uku na kanzole. Yani yu maswari uku uliza mwenye uku na kanzole. Na uku na ulizu. Unauliswa kichwa hako ni mzuri kweja. Kwani kichwa hako ni mbana, mini metuwa kufanya ushauri kwa mtu. Nimeshauri mtu mbaka hameenda kifani kama hamefurai. Na tena si hamefurai, hameripa pesa. Kwe, ukuulizwa maswali kama hiyo. Unatafuta kanzo la hata wewe. Na kanzo la nirafiki hako, unapigia esimu. Ambia ukusi kuzuri sana. Marriage, akuna perfection for marriage, is working out for marriage. You work out that marriage. There is no perfect person, there is no perfect couple. Ata ukiwona wakitembea kwa barabara, si perfect. Si kwa barabara watu wanatembea tu. Haina shida. Yuhu manishi muko perfect. Si kwa barabara mutawonekana, kwa hana mutuwa munataka munekane mustuni. Kwa hana suwa kwa on the street. Kwa on the street. Ata sahi, tulikuwa tunashikananga mikono. Sahi kushikana mikono ni ngumu. Ngumu kabisa. Hata wa mambo wa dada wengine tukua na wambianga wakati wa romanza. I love you. I love you. So yuki mambia I love you. Anasamanga wachanga mchezo yako. Mitu ya love love you wachana naso. Mashanga tena ni nini. Sinikuwa na kuambianga ima neno kutamu. Hata dada mungine wa kimperekea tunamambia leo ni mesikia ni kukisi. Mesikia naanza kusama kisi. Sunona vile mmenya masa. Kisi. Kia mzee mgini anasema hiyo vitu wapana. Hata tamaduni yetu wefanyi nini? Nona bako meruli kwa tamaduni. Na hisi mambo ya tamaduni, hini mambo ya upeo? Ya upeo. Nasema tamaduni ya yusu. And but today we are not reading scriptures. If we go back to scriptures, tuende komandiko one by one, we will find all these things I'm talking about, be it kiss, be it what, ziko zote. But I'm not going back to scriptures. I'm just... Uh, you know, just making it simple for us to understand that the first stage is romance. That was romance. That stage must be cultivated. We have to go back to romance. To pendane to Aguna Shida. And then the second stage, you know, kwamba, there is ile kutokuelewa. There is destruction, dissolution. You are like, sijui bire ilikuwa, sijui mambo bire And then the last stage, because of time, is, is the stage where you reach Alafu, that is the stage where you are like, hii stage ni ngumu, ni ngumu tu kapisa, sielewi kama hii stage ni tamarisana na ayo, you are at a place of dissection, you are a place of not, I mean, sometimes you want to run away from that marriage, that is, you are, you are not satisfied. You are, you are not even satisfied with the person you married. 
And I've realized that that stage is the stage now to look at things differently. Unanza kuangalia mambo katika utofauti enye ujawai angalia. Then, that is the stage when you start asking yourself questions. Imagine if you reach at such a stage and you are 60 years. 60 years, ukikumbuko unataka kuwa tena. Unataka atuwa tena. Aje, unaanza kuwa aje hata ukifikiria. Na unajua sisi wenye tumeokoka, walokole wa mungu, we have one thing, we cling tightly, we become one. Ata nini kuje katikati, sisi tume cling to. We cling, sisi tume okoka, ata, ata mambo kani kuje katikati, tuna cling to. Yani ni kitu imekuwa gulu, super gulu. Uachiri, untaku, afadhali ukumbushe mke wako pana, tulisema tutaka kwa hii, tuta, kwa uzuri na ubaya, na njaa na vita lakini si ya kupigana vita ya watu wengine alafu na na na, na, na vita yenu hapana ya watu wengine alafu na, na, na mambo yote you know you you cling and you are clinging tightly you refuse to leave you refuse to be separated because one thing you must understand your marriage is not like their marriage your marriage is a godly marriage their marriage is different. Your marriage is different. Amen. Your marriage is to follow the model of the Bible. Their marriage is to follow anything they wish to. So you cannot, and then that's okay, if you stage, then some things inevitable occurs. You know, sometimes you, you have to be, you have to do some few things. You have to be very clear and speak the truth. Amen. Amen. Speak the, the truth. You know, marriage, whether you like it or not, you have to speak the truth. Be truthful to your spouse. Be truthful to your wife and your husband. Speak the truth. Usipo sema ukweli, mambo itakuwa magumu sana. Do not pretend. Do not pretend. Do not pretend. What we need wanna pretend to. Wanna pretend kwa barabara. Wanna pretend kwa mashere. Wanna pretend kwa arusi. Hawa kwa hapa. Lakini ni mewaona uko inji. Muna pretend. Ani hata munaenda maali. Muna unyesha watu. Muna penda. Na na mupenda ni. Muna lala separate rooms. Separate beds. But you pretend that I love you. When you are with us. You pretend that you love your wife when you are with them. But when you are alone, unafika maali, unechoka. Do not pretend. Speak the truth. Do not pretend in marriage. Know when and how to communicate something. Skiza, you have to know when and how to communicate. Uwezi tu kungoja mume wako tu amefika na mnai. Ata jepu muzika. Ile kitu likuwa nataka kusema ni umeanzia kwa mlamu. Jua wakati, na jua na, na masaya ya kusema. Ya kusema, jipe hata na fasi. Hata we mume, jipe na fasi. Waku communicate vitu flani. There are things you cannot communicate. Hata kuna vitu naangalia tu na unakuwa na hekima. And you say, this one I will not even communicate now. Na sita uliza hii kwanza. Nitangoja kwanza mambo ya tulie. Because in marriage, we, we, we just speak. Some people say we quarrel. No, it is a misunderstanding to understand one another. It's not a quarrel. Tunaelewana, tunakosana, ili tuelewane. Na tukosane vibaya. So sometimes we know you have to speak. You have to know when and how to communicate something. Usianze tu kutoa maneno. Unatupa maneno. Hata ujefikiria. Waze wanachoka ukuinje. Wanataka waingie kwa nyumba na kupumzika. Wazee mungesema amen. amen. Wana bina watetea na menyamazi. Mingia <laughs> ametoka kazi amechoka. Na wale, wa, 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 wale wandugu wenye wadadas, wadada ni wanafanya kazi. Na wewe, wewe labda e, wakati mungine ulikuwa na kazi na kazi ikaisha. Na wadada ni wanafanya kazi. Inabidi tu. Inabidi. 
we dada eleo huyu ni mzee lakini ndugu nawe eleo huyu ndiye anafanya kazi so sometimes akikuja inaweza kuwa rais hata kumchamshie maji aoge kwa sababu yeye ndiye anafanya kazi sasa unajua unafanyaje sasa si unajua kuna flexibility tu si ni kweli jamani naambia nilichamsha maji enda ho enda ho kwa hiyo imeshusha kweli ya yako hapana is just a way of saying i love you you have worked hard and you have you have done this and this and this i was looking at the bible the bible says wale wa mama wenye wanabidi they wake up early in the morning wakiamka asubuhi wanafanya kazi wananunua mashamba so hata juzi niliambia mke wangu kuniulizanga mashamba siri vizuri kulingana na biblia wanasema nyinyi ndio mnanunua kipande cha shamba mimi nakuja na kaa ndani mama fanya bidii nitafuta kipande cha shamba mimi nikuje nikae ndani ni maandiko kini unaona wazee wengine wako na culture ngumu mama akinunua shamba huyo mzee anasema mimi siwezi enda kaa ndani eh lakini mimi niliambia mke wangu ukinunua shamba mimi nakaa ndani ukijenga nyumba tunaishi ndani unaona mwezi sema amen lakini ni culture inawasumbua tunakaa ndani hamna shida basta kwire tunakaa ndani mama akinunua shamba ingia kwa shamba Wazeni wafundisha tena kitu kingine. Tafadhali mudada kama hata muelewani akipika chakula. Sisi tumeelewana huyu mudada. Akipika nini? Chakula. Hata kama tumekosana. Kuna kitu mimi nilisema, chakula siwaji. Abadani kule kama umekazuka unalichozea kwa sawa mungu. Hakuna mambo ya kuacha chakula. Kuna hata chakula na mimi nimegarama ingia hiyo chakula. Chakula tu chakula. Mimi na kasirika na kina kula chakula. Na kasirika na kina kula chakula. Siwezi lala njaa kwa sababu tumekosana na muke. That one does not work. Food. You cannot refuse your wife's food. Na kula chakula. Na yeye pia ameelewa na hata kuna mtoto wangu pia amejua ame, tunafanyanga hivyo. Sasa msichana wangu ame msichana wangu ni hata umkombanisha mwambie you know wewe ujefanya vizuri ujefanya vizuri ongeza mtu adio si mzuri na hiyo unajiona ni manyoga mbaya na kinakula anasema anakula because anajua anajua tuliambiana hata tukikosana chakula tunaendelea nayo chakula tunaendelea nayo wewe sikataa chakula ya mke atakosao umekosana so communication is very important and sometimes Uh, we lose communication and because of time I'm finishing we lose communication and when we lose communication we lose touch of correcting one another in marriage marriage let me say this marriage is not hard ni sisi ndio tunatakana tufanye ndoa iwe rahisi ni sisi tu kwa ndugu na wadada tena tuambiane it is us ndio tunahitaji kufanya that marriage to become so easy take it easy wacha kuchukua complications nyingi take it very easy communicate when it is possible don't communicate when when it is not possible just leave it wacha ikae usisumbukane na communication itakusumbua na itaweza kusumbua uh, uh, mambo mengi avoid words like never or always you know avoid those words like never always atunaambia unaambia ndugu ati ama dada ati ah you are always like that avoid those words she is not always like that ni makosa amefanya tu ya siku hiyo oh i will never i will, I will never never forgive you. i will I, i never thought you can be like this i never you had never ni basa i never thought you can do something like this ni mwanadamu anaweza fanya hiyo kitu yenye unafikiria hawezi fanya is just a human being Don't tell them always you do always you do this always you do this hakuna kitu kibaya kama kumshusha mwenzako na kumwambia kila wakati yeye ndio huwa anafanya hayo makosa Kuna mtu anaambianga mume wake huko na mke wake muangaliane tu kila wakati tunamwambia always never muangaliane tafadhali always never oh, yani always you always be you behave like this you always like this hapana 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 tafadhali hapana uwezi murudisha chini that she is always like that she is not always like that he is not always like that it is a mistake that came that day it can be corrected mtu anasaidia kusema amen she is not always like that hajawahi kuwa hivyo kila wakati hajawahi kuwa hivyo kila wakati hiyo maneno ya yenye unaweza avoid 
avoid that, that things. And then be faithful, uh, even when things are right, and when things are wrong, when things are tight, when things are not tight, remain faithful. Can I say that again? Remain faithful. It, can, it should not be said amongst us as brethren. Paulo akasema, ata yu kitu isisikike kwetu. Ya kwamba we are unfaithful. We are unfaithful. For the last 23 years, married to this lady. That is it. Hakuna mambo mengi. Hakuna na hakuna. Na nimesafiri. Nimeenda penye wasichana wako. Nimeenda penye warembo wako. Wewe unasema nini? Lakini yeye alinichagua vile mimi nakaa hivi tuna isura. Na mimi nikamchagua vile anakaa na hiyo sura. Na nikasema this is the best. Kwa nini mimi sikuona wewe kama huyu? Ni niona huyu peke yake. And that is my wife. Si mtu asemaye amen. Amen. I will remain faithful. I am I pray every time because temptation is there to remain faithful. I you know we go for missions, we go different places. Sometimes you are out of the country, you remain faithful. Mungu anakuona hata mahali uko tu. Unabaki mwaminifu. Na wewe pia ukiwaacha mahali unabaki mwa mwaminifu. Because there is a lot of things going around between unfaithfulness na vitu vingine it should not be part of uh, what the lord has given us to do so remain faithful na itakuwa ni vizuri sana and then the last one avoid shouting <laughs> avoid shouting and sharing with the relatives that is marriage avoid shout, shouting and shout and sharing with the relatives at sasa mke tu mkikosana kidogo umepiga simu kwa baba yako wewe tu mtukuze hivi Umepiga simu kwa mama yako. Wewe tu mtu mkubwa hivi na watoto wako. Huyu mzee, sioni kama ako sawa. No, avoid those things and avoid shouting. Wakati mwingine, wakati mwingine if I feel like I want to shout, nataka kushout kwa mke wangu ama nataka kumshoutia. Mimi naondoka tu naenda kutembea. Nenda shoutia maumbo huko nje. Nataka kushoutia mtu, naenda maumbo na ile umbo eh. Sikuja. Some shouting can come out very heavy. It will more. Avoid shouting. Avoid words. Words are very strong. Words are very strong. Kuna manuno ingine ni machachi, ni madogo madogo tu. Lakini ni magumu ya tulikuja hapa. Ulikuja hapa kama umeparara sana. Ngalia vile unakaa sikuizi. Wana? Wana vile ni mekutengeneza hata usu. Wacha na hiyo mambo. Umejitengenezea mke na umejitengenezea mume. Tena unamkumbusha umemtengeneza aje. <laughs> unamkumbusha aje tena unamtengeneza. Please avoid vitu zingine. Avoid mambo ya shouting. Avoid comparison. Si kweli jamani. Avoid kusema ya kwamba unaona baba Kamau vile anakaa. Wewe pia ungekaa kama baba Kamau. Wazee wenye wana akili. Tayari umenionyesha mimi nimekuona sina akili. Unajua maneno ni mazito sana. Umenionyesha mimi sina nini? Akili. So mimi penye nitakaa nitakumbukanga baba kama wa kuna akili na mimi sina akili. Sasa hata ukiniongeresha na kuambia unaongeleshaje mtu mwenye ana akili wewe? Because you have already spoken those words. The words are very powerful. They come in and they stay. Avoid some words. Avoid shouting. Avoid uh, things that can can bring uh, 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 I mean kugombana avoid relatives that can 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 bring vitu na ya mwisho please hii hi ni a very important nimalisie hii hii si yuko mena recordiwa tafadhali tafadhali avoid kutesa waze ama wandugu ama wadada wacha mambo ya kutesa unajua kuna kutesa ingine tofauti kama kuna mateso mbaya sana na sisi wote hapa ni kapo kutesa mbaya sana ni kunyima mume wako haki yake mateso mbaya sana namutaki niseme lakini ninasema hivyo kama kuna mate... amen mtu amesema amen kama kuna mateso mbaya ni kunyima mume Haki. Haki. Mewa sona bisho. 
Nita kuma sana. Kama kama hakuna mateso ile mbaya kabisa. Kama kuna mateso mbaya. Ni mama kulala na sweta na resota. Mama kwa nuna lana, oh, weda ni mbaya, bariti zinikuja pana. Kama kuna matesu mbaya ni yu. Na mimi na wambia watara wenye mkuu wapu. Iyo ndiyo tocha hile mbaya. Mbaya sana. Mbaya sana. Angalia mkuu wapu mambia wamezema. Mambia wamezema. Iyo ndiyo tocha hile mbaya sana. Usi wapu mambia wamezema ndiyo tocha. Mambia wapu mambia ndiyo tocha. Na njimu na wakua kwa mbiana, sema wamesema, hiyo ndiyo tocha, hiyo ndiyo mpaya, tocha mpaya sana njimu, hiyo ndiyo tocha mpaya sana, wate ni hindi ni hindi ya mke wangu wapa, hiyo ndiyo tocha, hiyo ndiyo tocha, hiyo ndiyo tocha, hiyo ndiyo tocha, mpaya sana. Kwa wani mefuguzi wapo, awa, awa mama meniambia, na waze, tafabari, avoid tocha. Oh! Ameniambia wazee avoid nini? Torture. Avoid torture. Wacha mambo ya kulala na suti. Wameniambia hapo hivi. Avoid that hiyo vitu inaenda kwa upande wao. What avoid your torture. Avoid torture. Kwa sababu that one is the last. Toa hiyo. Toa hiyo. Toa hiyo. Biblia inasema Adamu na Hawa walikuwa uchi na wakufanya nini? Hawakuaibika. Hawakuaibika. Avoid vitu zingine. Hakuna siku naweza kuwa damu na hawa isipokuwa wakati uko kwa bedroom. Na tongo yote unatembea tembea huko kwa bedroom. Kwa sababu wewe ukitoka kwa Adam, hakuna shida. Unatembea tu. Hakuna unatembea kwa nyumba kwa bedroom. Ukiwa uchi. Na unaambia mama hata wewe tembea tuone. Adam sasa ni Adam na hawa mkua uji walikuwa uji na hawa kwa hivita haibu ilitoka wapi jamani na niluambia wakati wa romanza kuwa na hiyo haibu sasa haibu imetoka wapi ati tumekoma ati sasa tumekua waze tumekua waze ni Adam walikuwa waze pia una avoid hiyo vitu because that is the last thing that brings marriage down. Hiyo. Hakuna. And you can look at it in every angle. Na hakuna uoga na hofi ya hiyo. Hakuna. You know, long time ago, nilikuwa naambiwa na kanisa dini ingine niliokokea ndani. Nilikuwa nimepewa tocha hile hakuna. Naambiwa from Thursday, usijaribu ukaribiana na muke wako. Kwandia Thursday. You become holy. Paka Sunday video utawabili kwa madhababa. Hakini nikapata ufunu. Sunday morning. Ndiyo moto inakuwa kwa madhababa. Kumarisana na uyu dada. Unajua? Vitu zingine ni vitu ya kuambiwa tu. Hakini mpaka mwenye upata revelation. Upata revelation. Iyo mambo siambia watu wengi. Paka upata revelation. So avoid those things. They bring a lot of destruction. Let's just be sincere. Ya kwamba God created us na tujienda kwa bitu vingi. He created us to be one, clean one on another, to shikane, to kai pamoja, na mungu aliweka hivyo. Na the last thing I would say, please avoid divorce. Avoid divorce. Avoid divorce. Lakini kama kuna bitu zingine zimefanya zenye zimeandikuwa kwa biblia, kama zuwisi kusongelewa zikawa nini kwa sawa kuna musama, you can avoid those things and then avoid divorce at all costs. It will cost you. If you think divorce is good, it will cost you and it will cost you katika njia kusama. Avoid divorce. Start loving your wife. Take advice. Talk about issues. They may be painful. Talk about them. Resolve those issues. Shut down. Don't shut down your spouse. Let them talk. Don't shut me down. Let me talk. We come together. We resolve our issues. And we build our marriage. And that marriage will work. We are still working on that marriage. 
until Jesus comes. We are not perfect. We will never be perfect. We are, we are not struggling. We are working on that marriage. That marriage inafanyua kazi kila siku mpaka siku ile itakuwa vizuri na ikisha kuwa vizuri tutafurahia. Wakati watoto wanaondoka penda mke wako na mume wako kwa sababu watoto wakiondoka mnabaki wangapi? Wawili. Na mkibaki wawili mnabaki tu mmependana. Watoto wenye unaona wanaleta vitu yote hii watakuja ondoka tu. Wote wenye unaona wanaleta hii destruction wataondoka. Mtu mwenye mtabaki na yeye nani? Ni mke wako na huyu ndio mtapendana na hata ikiwezekana mzeeke na hata ikiwezekana when time comes for the lord to take you home omba mungu muende wote wawili mambo yenu kwa imeisha na mbarikiwe sana <laughs>